Uh, what are STAR measures and gaps in care? I, quickly, I can tell you STAR measures, he, he explained STAR measures, but you, we've done um, uh, lots of videos on STAR measures, and you can see those on the Medical Coding Cert on our YouTube channel, uh, and, and it would get explained a lot quicker and probably more thoroughly than we would have the time to do um, in, tonight. Gaps in care, though, I can let uh, Skylar is very familiar with that. He can probably highlight that quickly for you. So these two really go hand in hand with one another. This is why it's important that providers, you know, it, it's kind of like an incentive program for providers for these measures, the same thing as um, HEDIS and things like that. Um, HEDIS, um, they look at, like I said before, they look at the HbA1Cs and things like that, or, you know, the blood pressures, and there's certain ranges, especially for uh, the HbA1Cs, I believe at the highest that they want it, they want, they want it to be 9% and lower. Granted, that's not what clinicians want their patients to be at. Um, they want them in the lower range, but from a quality or um, standpoint, that's what they want. So if a patient is not hitting that measure, then that's what's called the gap in their care. So it's working, looking at what can the provider do, um, you know, regards to their um, management of that condition. Do they need to do more exercise? A lot of health plans will have like things like silver sneakers, so something that will help them um, to lower their HbA1Cs so that the next time they go, <clears throat> it is they meet that requirement. And, it, and when it comes to um, HEDIS, they look at that last one that was read. So mm -hmm. I've known that some, some providers um, where that patient has met them, uh, met that measure, but the last visit, th that patient went over nine, so they just did not put <laughs> that in the encounter form at all, um, unfortunately. But so it's like things like that where it comes, talks about gaps in care. Um, mm -hmm. That's what they're referring to is when um, there's certain measures. You can find these CDS measures online. There's a lot of them, mm -hmm. and some of them um, will have certain uh, age ranges as far as, you know, like the breasts, um, uh, mammograms, mm -hmm. uh, you know, living wills, uh, uh, advanced directives, you know, things like that are on there. Um, so take the time to look at those, and that's um, kind of on the um, short about this question. Yeah. Do you need more medical certification and business training? Learn more at www.cco.us.